Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's KP. Today we'll be doing a makeup tutorial. I'm feeling very, very summery today. Let's get into it. We'll be using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Okay, so as I'm getting ready, I want to do like a little bit of a story time today, just to give me something to talk about. Um, I want to share with you guys my experience of going to boarding school. Whenever I tell people I went to boarding school, they're like, oh my gosh, like, what did you do? Like, your parents must not like you. Um, but, but the reality is, um, Oh my god, those dogs are going off. The reality is, like, going to boarding school was a decision I made for myself. Um, I really wanted to do it. The idea was introduced to me when I was in sixth grade, and I was like, that sounds, like, really interesting. Um, and my teacher at the time told me, like, your parents would never, never go for that. And like they weren't really a fan of the idea at first, but I truly don't think I could like imagine my life now if I didn't go to boarding school. So I'll be using the Ordinary Foundation, um, 3.2 N, N is for neutral. Um, and I don't really have a neutral skin tone or undertones, so I'm gonna use L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Makeup Whatever Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 17 um, in the color shade Soft Sable C6. Those dots are going off. I went to St. George's School in Middletown, Rhode Island. Um, when you tell people you went to school in Rhode Island, not a lot of people seem to know that Rhode Island is in fact a state. <laughs> uh, sometimes I tell people like where my school was and they're like, oh, I've never been to that borough of New York. Me either, because it's not in New York, it's an actual state. Yeah, it was a pretty small school, about 360 kids and it was only like freshmen to seniors so and the school was pretty much like half girls half boys and I know this information because my time there I was a tour guide so like you kind of have to know these facts off your head yeah you have to know that information when you're giving the tours and whatnot so I just it's kind of stuck in my head I guess does that color work And I did go for all four years. I remember the day my parents dropped me off. We like unpacked the room and stuff. It, it's four hours from where I live. Yeah, four hours on a good day. Um, but with traffic, it could take like five hours, whatever. We unpacked, um, kind of set the room up a little bit. Yeah, like we said our goodbyes and went out to the car. They got in and as I was walking back inside, I all my in my head I was like, "Don't look back, you're gonna cry if you do." So I couldn't look back because I knew I was gonna cry. Um, it wasn't really the first time I had been away from home. I did go to like sleepaway camp when I was. This is a good color, I think. Um, I went to like sleepaway camp when I was younger in New York. Um, and before I went away to boarding school, I did like a summer session at this school called Cushing Academy. But yeah, that was a boarding school as well. And I had a great time at that like summer thing, but that's not the point of me sharing this story. Okay, so yeah, I forgot where I left off, but I couldn't look back and then it was like, after they left straight into orientation, and I'm not gonna lie, like throughout my four years, I'm not gonna like talk about the whole four years in this one video. I'll probably do a little series, but general fact throughout my four years, I was not like, I was not the most popular girl. <laughs> like I didn't really have a lot of friends, I don't think. 
I was the only black girl in my grade from like freshman year till senior year. Um, and like being a black girl at a boarding school can, it's like a different world, you know, like you're already in this little bubble and then like me being the only one in my grade here, like in a personal bubble and you're just alone a lot of the times. And that's like how, I, looking back, I did realize like I felt pretty alone most of the time. Um, but whatever. Girl, I graduated, so that's all that matters. Okay, we're gonna use, do concealer and we're using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in Mocha and then LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. Okay, first embarrassing thing. Um, I thought I was gonna be a baller. Like, the curry with pots, whatever. I thought I was gonna like be a basketball star. I would literally from shortly after orientation, like from day one, I would be in the gym every day practicing, shooting free throws, layups, this, this, and that. Like, I will say some people, some people were super annoyed with me because like after the hours of maybe, after dinner time, dinner ended at like seven, um, from seven to like eight, I think check-in was at eight, I remember, if I recall, seven to eight was like, hook up time or whatever and I'd be in the gym from like after I left dinner to like check in so and I'd be in the gym like just shooting basketball like shooting every day and a lot of people probably didn't like me because I was like using their hookup spot to practice and like looking back it's pretty funny but like if I needed to give an explanation as to why I was always in there like the honest answer would be I didn't really have a lot of friends so I just like preoccupied my time in the gym okay so the concealers blended out and now we're gonna move on to setting the concealer we're gonna use the Ooh, I, I forgot the name like I don't use this every day Laura Mercier um, in medium deep, obviously, and Revolution Beauty in banana. So yeah, that was like one really embarrassing fact. And you know why it made it worse? Is that people, it was like years later, people would tell me like, why were you always in the gym all the time? Like, shooting. Like, I didn't really have friends, that's all I could do. I guess, I should probably stop saying I didn't really have friends, although like for the most part that's kind of true. I should point out that like my freshman year, the people that I would have considered my friends were like older than me. So my prefects, I don't know if I should say their names on camera, but um, my prefects were, they were juniors when I was a freshman. I feel like I spent a lot of time with them, like when I wasn't in the gym, because honestly I spent like most of my time in the gym. There were these three prefects, they were like the black girl prefects, and I just loved hanging out with them. Um, to this day I would say like, we're, okay, no, that's a lie, we're not like super close, but like we still talk, like we have a group chat with us and some other people, but yeah. Like, in my mind, me as a freshman, like, those are my girls, okay? Because I I had one friend, her name was um, Sydney, and she was in my grade, but she was, she was only as a black girl. But she left, like, we went to school, like, end of August, I think. And by October, she was gone. So then it was really just me by myself. So, I was also considerably close with, um... Like some of the seniors, but like I was never really friends, friends, freshman year with people in my grade. 
I will say later on, like in high school, I did make a few friends in my grade. Um, but by the time, like all the people that I was really down with my freshman year, they graduated and like, I really kind of took on the role of like a mom in some ways. Cause I just tried to um, like be a, a big sister or like a guide for like the younger girls like black girls that came after so yeah but are they my friends like totally like I'm always there for them they've always been there for me I'm using a lot more powder than I normally do but because I'm just really trying to highlight today. But I think my beauty blender was too wet, so it keeps getting like blotchy in certain areas. And it's still gonna look, oh my gosh. I totally forgot to color correct, guys. okay you look crazy um and i usually save this step for later but i don't want to look super crazy on camera like for most of the video so i'm gonna take the powder foundation from nyx and just go over my whole face and i'll do one half first so you guys can see what a difference it really makes and like how it really improves the look Gross. I got a whole <laughs> mirror right here because um, I'm just holding it on my lap and I didn't want to have like this mirror just on my lap although I'm still using both of them but okay so you can see this side looks less like white than this side um, and that's just like what I use this for. I don't use powder foundation for my foundation. I just feel like, what are you really doing there, you know? Um, some people probably do use it as like their foundation, but like me, I would not. Here we are. Um, I did the eyebrows, finished the face a little bit. I think the um, setting spray, because it's almost done and it's so like, mm bugs out kind of messed up the base but I tried to fix it best I could we'll just do some blush why not do that now and we'll highlight but um for for highlight I'm just gonna use the Nubian palette and go with I normally do a gold for my highlight, but I kind of want to use this one and it's like pinky just to match like the shirt and the vibe. Um, let's just put a little bit on see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute, just not really my vibe. so. <laughs> So I'm just gonna like use a gold to um, kind of balance it out. Okay. Good. Just gonna dim it out some because I don't need the aliens in area 51 to come see me because that highlight was bright so there we have that and now really quick we're gonna do something with the eyes something that matches the vibe And we're gonna take our Morphe, Morphe 350 Nature Glow Palette. Just 
to do something real quick. Let's start with this color right here. Whenever the the clouds start to block the sun, I look super red on camera. Somebody's barbecuing. Might be my padre. Smells good. Although I don't even think there's food on it yet. I think it's just the smell of the charcoal, but it still smells good. I'm using the same color now that I used for my blush. I'm gonna put my lash glue on so that by the time I'm ready for it, it'll be uh, uh, like dried down for me to just put them on. And the lashes today, I am launching my own eyelash brand and I'll be wearing one of my very own. And in the description box, I'll put, uh, actually, I'll put the Instagram account for my um, business, my lash business. I won't put the website yet because um, they're not available to purchase yet. The launch date will be in August, but I do want you guys to see how they look. See it on me. Um, I'm really excited for this. Like. I got the idea. I'll probably do like a more elaborate video when it's nearer to the launch date on, you know, why, why lashes. We're going to take the Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer. And I realized it's best to work a little bit faster with this primer just because it um, dries down pretty quickly. So we're going to use this shade right here. It's like a very pretty pink. I might actually just use my finger to apply it. And but the light just be messing up. I'll take this brush and dip back into the pink that I use as my blush to kind of blend out the ends. There we have the eyes, something just simple that'll match like the vibe that we have going here. The eyes are done, face is done, lips are almost done. I used a dark brown lip liner um, from Ulta and then this Tarte lipstick, um, Salt Life. And we're just gonna top it off with a little bit of gloss because I don't really like how matte or, or sometimes even satin lips look. But this is just a pink Victoria's Secret gloss. And here we are, we have the finished look. Um, I really like how the eyes turned out. I'm not the best when it comes to like eyeshadow, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm not the best because I don't really try to do a lot of different things. I usually just throw on lashes and call it a day. But yeah, today we did something a little bit out of our comfort zone, a little bit different. Um, this feels like a throwback kind of look to me um, but yeah check the description box I'll include all the items that I used um, my social media so you guys can connect with me thank you for watching like comment subscribe make sure you are subscribing if you're watching my videos please and thank you and I'll see you in the next one